god! Hello everyone, this is Mike again for you here from Dubai and today we are going to talk about watches which you should not buy and I recommend you something else. So let's go! So let's first start with Patek Philippe, the 5980. Let's say you are looking for a Nautilus and you don't want to buy the average 5711. Then I would recommend you the 5980, but there is one problem, it's very expensive. At the moment you need to pay, let's say, around 90,000 euro, and I wouldn't recommend this watch at the moment. There are better ones, better options, and therefore I have for you the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Chronograph. This one is in 41 millimeter, and personally, I like it more. I think uh, it's more younger, the edges are stronger, and the whole shape is more modern. Both uh, were designed from Gerargenta. This piece sells around 28,000 euro. There are different dial versions. With the 5980, you have a black dial, a blue dial, and a white dial. And with here, it's almost the same. You have a panda dial and also a black dial where the colors are inverted. And the mo most expensive one is the one in blue. If you want to spend a little bit more money, you can also get a limited edition like the titanium and platinum version. And this one at the end, I will think, will rise even further and more than the 5980. So don't choose the 5980 if you're looking for a sports chronograph with a date. Go for the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak in 41 and And I have it also currently in gold and uh, all different dyes. So maybe I got you covered. And if you now think what we are going to do today, just talking about watches, no, we have a planned special activity. We are going right now to the desert and uh, yeah, rent one buggy, I would say, and review some watches on the buggy. This is a good idea, so let's go. Finally, we arrived here at the beginning of the desert and right now we are going to choose one of these cars. And if you want to choose your first gold watch, I have one advice for you. Let's say you want to go for the classic day date, okay, the presidential. There you have currently the option for the new 40 mm day date in white gold, yellow gold, rose or platinum. But I would suggest you are not going for the regular day date in 40 mm you rather choose the Day Date 2. This one is the discontinued model. It's obviously a little bit bigger in 41mm, but consistent in price and it's rising every month. This watch, the watch is not in production anymore and it will never be in production. The size is very unique and therefore I would choose this one. For me, the perfect one or the most collectible is the one in platinum. I have right now here with me the one with the Baguette dial, yeah, awesome piece. And uh, if you want to choose the rose gold one, go for the ruby dial. I have some indices marked with uh, rubins. This is uh, really collectible, and this would be my option. And right now, I think we are good to go. That was summation right now. The next stop is we are going back to the center of the city and uh, then we move on with the topic skeleton watches. Yeah, there are a lot of skeleton watches. Which one you should buy and which one you should not buy. So let's go back to the city. So we are right now here at the last spot and I want to tell you something about skeleton watches. I have here one example which I personally 
love. I love this watch. But in terms of commercial value, it's not that easy. We have here a Olisnada. All movement is skeletonized. You can almost see through the watch. It's really nice, but at the end, all watches with the leather bracelets are really difficult to sell. Most of the time, there are a lot of brands that say Vachon Constantine. They are offering also watches like this. It's smaller in size. The craftsmanship is exceptional, but it's not easy to sell unfortunately if you are going for a skeleton watch also the price went crazy but nevertheless i would i would suggest you to buy this one anytime it's one of my all-time favorites the royal oak in 41 mm this one is the double balance so it has two balance wheels this is the special thing there is also the old one my friend here has it of course also uh, with just a single wheel and one thing what you easily forget is patek Philippe, for example produce 80,000 watts per year Ulma Piguet is just at 40,000 pieces and the craftsmanship on this watch is so huge that's why the production numbers of this one is low and if you ask me personally I, I think I believe that the price could even break 100 or 150,000 euro yeah he, th he thinks from behind the camera too so if you are looking for a watch a skeleton watch and you are afraid to buy the AP believe it or not Go for it and you will not regret it. And we are at the end of this video. Yeah, Thanks very much for watching. If you like that content, please make sure that you like and subscribe. And then I would say I see you guys next time. This was it for Dubai.